you know, a lot of people ask me, yo, Josh E.P., what you be doing? Like, what's your work life like? Well, I'm an operator, a phone operator. I work from home now, right here in this bedroom, and I survive off of Starbucks, water, and marble, marble black 100 is what keeps this train moving. Oh, look, we've got a call. Let's take a call real quick. I'm really sorry about all the Blazer build videos recently. You know, so when it comes to the Blazer, I do a lot of things at one time to it. So, like, I'll get a bunch of parts for it over a two-month period. I'll buy a bunch of parts over a two-month period, and then I'll put them all on the same, you know, the same three days. So you'll have a boom, boom, boom. I'm off in a three-day period. One day I'll work on this. One day I'll work on this. One day I'll work on this. And typically that's how it goes. So, like you saw... I put an exhaust on the blazer, right? Because it needed an exhaust. It was destroyed or cut off or whatever ended up happening. It broke. So I put a exhaust on the blazer. I fixed the exhaust on the blazer. I put an exhaust on it. I put another exhaust on it. And then we put the light bar on. So right now I've got, um, I got some side steps for the blazer so you can crawl up into it easier because once I get the leaf springs replaced and I, um, yeah, I get the leaf springs replaced and I put the, the 31 inch tires on it, it's gonna sit a lot higher. And it's hard for people, it's hard for me to get into it. And I'm young. I'm fat, but I'm young, so. Oh, I just choked. So it'll make it a lot easier to get into it. Thank you, Buzz, for getting me the, um, the side steps. Those are gonna be really cool. I think I'm gonna have my mechanic put them on just because I don't want to screw it up, and if he screws it up, then I can tell him, dude, you screwed it up, and then he'll fix it for free, and I don't want to drill holes and things and do that. I don't mind drilling holes and stuff, but when it comes to something like that, I want to make sure it's done right, so when, like, my mom or somebody is crawling into the blazer and she puts her foot on the sidestep, it doesn't break off, and she face plants into the floorboard and dies, so it's really important that those are on there right, and I want to make sure it's done perfect. Um... But yeah, so I got to put the side steps on it. We're going to be putting tires on it soon. I'm really hoping to get the tires on it soon. I've, um, what else am I trying to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to get it dyno tuned. I'm going to have it professionally dyno tuned by a shop and have them completely tune it perfect so everything works like it's supposed to. What else am I going to do to the blazer? Oh, soon I'm going to be getting the carpet kit for it. I really wanted to fix the rust holes before I put the carpet kit back in it and put a carpet in it. But I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we're just gonna. I might just drill some license plates where the holes are and then cover it up. Who we gotta call? Sorry, back at it again. So I don't remember where I was, but yeah, blazer builds have been coming along. We've done a couple videos on them. I only did one like three months ago when I ripped out the floor pan. I'm getting the carpet kit. I'm getting a new steering wheel. I'm getting a bunch of stuff done to it. I'm hoping to have the new leaf springs in it soon. I'm hoping to have tires on it. This is kind of an update video. Me and Dylan were working on the podcasts. We're really trying to get some of those out. We just haven't had the time to do it. And we're always clashing. His upload schedule and his Motovlog channel is just so tight. And he really, really, really takes that seriously. Which is good. I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm, I'm glad he's doing that. He's That's what he's really been mainly focused on. He wants to get the podcast out. But it's just not working so good. We're going to get one out. I promise. But we can use this time to kind of go over the blazer okay here's that's my old id here's the blazer okay this is the 85k5 blazer folder so we can go through here and i can kind of give you a rundown i can kind of give you a rundown of what all has been done to this so titles right here first thing right here okay i got a compression test on all eight cylinders at 100 and uh, looks like it was 130 pounds, which is, it's an average, I guess, of 130 pounds. Um, I got a new cap and rotor for the distributor, spark plugs, got spark plugs, set spark plug wires, oil change, new drag links, adjust the timing, adjust carburetor, new kick down cable, plus labor. That was $850. Here is another receipt here that we had done. So... All right, sorry about that. Back to what we were doing. So, here's the second invoice I got from my mechanic. Because I can do a lot of things, okay? But when it comes to, like, crazy shit, I'm not doing it. So, here's another invoice. This one was from May 21st of this year. And then, so, I had gotten a new gas tank, a new fuel sending unit, I got inline filters, 
carburetor springs, carburetor springs, springs, carburetor springs, an oil change, a carb rebuild, because my carburetor was shot, a gallon of gas, because I gave it to him with no gas in it, and then, um, he ended up running out of gas when he was test driving it and had to walk like six miles home and get a gallon of gas from his shop. So he's pretty upset about that. So he charged me, what, $4 for a gallon of gas. Uh, he had to buy a tire because he went and did emissions on it for me. And when he did the emissions, my tires were shot. It was like, if you go back to, well, I guess you can see it in the most recent video when I uh, did the the second exhaust video. You can see when I first bought it back, it had like some really old fucking tires on it. So he had to buy a tire because when he took it to the emissions place, when they put it on the spinny boy, a fucking, the t fucking tire blew in the emissions place. And that was pretty funny. And $300 for labor. And then also on here, he also charged me. So he got the gallon of gas. Then he charged me $40 for another nine gallons to put enough gas in so he can work on it. So the total for that was $990. So right there, we're already over, what, $2,100? And then here's one. This one's from September 3rd of 2021. We got a new starter, a new in, inner front bearing, new outer front bearings, new inner bearing races, new outer bearing races, new bearing seals and labor, one set, uh, one set lockout hubs, rear axle bearings, rear bearing seals plus labor, Three quarts of 80 90 gear oil, limited slip additive, rear U joints, and install. Altogether, that came out to $1,375. So, yeah, that one hurt a lot. And then we've got another one here. Uh, this one was from October 1st of 2021. We've got headlights. Which I could have done, but he already had it in his shop, so I just asked him to do it. We got headlights. We've got some a roll of wire for fifty fucking dollars. What? I've never even looked at this. Fifty fucking dollars. Fusible links, twenty bucks. That's about right. Adjuster screws, fifteen bucks. A bracket was ten dollars. Solder gun. He charged me thirty bucks for a fucking soldering gun. Oil pressure gauge, seventy fucking dollars for an electric oil pressure gauge and labor. He charged me eight. Hundred dollars, eight hundred fucking dollars. I'll tell you what, that's fucking overpaid. I overpaid for that because I saw the work he did. And sorry, Russ, if you're watching this, but dude, you that was not good. You did not a very good job on that. So right there, I mean, we're in it. What? So, so we've got eight hundred and fifty plus nine hundred and ninety. Let me just write this down. Put the one, carry the one. Three thousand eight. So that's. Four thousand fifteen dollars, just right there alone. So there's four grand right there alone. That doesn't. There's some other stuff in here. Like I already know, automatically, automatically. So we're at four thousand fifteen. Oh mother humper. Okay, so we're at four thousand fifteen dollars. I can tell you right now, I've got. 1000 it was like 1600 and I think it was like 1650 bucks alone. That's just for wheels. Plus another $400 for tires. And then there was 150 what was it? 100 oh no, it was like 120 we we're just call it $120 for the alignment. Um, there's some other stuff that Russ didn't even charge me for. So, you know, that I'm not going to add that. I'm just trying to think everything that I've done to it right now. That doesn't include my own labor and like my own parts that I bought. I've got a hundred bucks at least. We'll put a. I've got a hundred dollars wrapped into the exhaust. Um, trying to think. We'll just add this up right now. So four thousand fifteen plus one thousand six hundred and fifty. So that's five thousand. That's five thousand six hundred and seventy-five. Six hundred and seventy-five. Plus another four hundred, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's six thousand and fifty dollars. Or that's six thousand and seventy-five dollars. Plus another hundred and twenty, so seventy, eighty, ninety. So six thousand one hundred and ninety. Plus another hundred, so six hundred, two hundred and ninety dollars. Right there, and there's so much more. 
All right, and then there's what I forgot to add, now that I took that phone call. What I forgot to add is the drive shafts. He didn't put those on the invoice, but I had the front and rear drive shaft rebuilt for it, so that's another thousand bucks. So right there, I mean, we're sitting at 7,290 bucks. And that doesn't include everything. So, I mean, literally, I would assume with everything that has been done that I either wasn't charged for or I didn't document and put my own money into, I've, my, I've done a lot of my own stuff to that truck. So, I mean, I would assume there's probably another at least thousand dollars of undocumented expenses that have been put into that truck. So, I mean, we're looking at over eight thousand. We're looking at over eight thousand dollars that I put into this truck within a year. A year. Man. That's kind of a rundown of everything that's been done to the truck. I would assume it's probably close to eight, nine thousand that I've put into it. Um, you know, it's just, it's starting to become a really good truck. I know this video is probably so fucking boring for you, and I apologize, but I didn't really have anything else to film. I'm working. I'm bored. So I wanted to throw it in there. Um, yeah, so this video is just going to be a bunch of random bullshit. We love random bullshit. If you were interested in the Blazer build, like I said, I'm sorry for giving you so much of the Blazer build. But at the same time, you know, it's it's good filler videos. It's interesting to me. I mean, I'm just filming what I'm doing. And a lot of my time recently has been the Blazer. I don't really have any friends anymore. Um, you know, so when I'm off, I'm working on the Blazer and doing shit to the Blazer. That's my everything right now, so... There you go. There's a rundown of the stuff that's been done to the Blazer, a little explanation. The Blazer videos are going to start becoming a little bit more scarce now that it's starting to get really cold outside and I can't do shit to it. Uh, Blazer build should be slowing down. I'm hoping to get some more other interesting stuff out to you guys. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. It's cold outside now. Can't ride motorcycles. Uh, can't work on the Blazer too much. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure something out, though. Love you, and stay tuned, and subscribe. Look at these geniuses. They've got number one a Ford, so you already know they're off to a bad start. Okay, they got a gooseneck car trailer with look at this old guy. We watch this guy operate an excavator and it was like trying to watch a baby write a book. It was the most awful experience I've ever seen in my life. And look at this trailer. It's a car trailer. And they've got they tore down this mobile home right here. And they've got the damn thing on the back of a gooseneck car trailer with three straps and a loose one hanging onto an I-beam back there. That's an axle. Those are I-beams. Crazy. If I make this, I'm no longer a cripple. What does that mean? What does that mean?